Good Monday morning, everyone. It is so good to be back with you for live morning prayer devotion. I thank you for your prayers for myself and for our family as we were uh, traveling, had some last minute changes um, and ended up uh, going to Orlando instead of San Antonio uh, due to a last minute cancellation um, of our rental. And we felt like the Lord was just watching out for us as a hurricane uh, came through Texas during the time that we would have been there. And uh, the flooding and, uh, and situations from that could have caused complications for us. So we ended up in Orlando at the last minute, had a great vacation. And we thank you for covering us with your prayers. Uh, we have many praise reports to share with you this morning. Uh, we had two Job Corps students baptized yesterday at Greater Vision here in Puxico. Uh, we congratulate Keith and Nessa as their journey with God continues and revival continues here in Puxico and everywhere we're hearing great reports of revival. Three children received the Holy Ghost last night at Life Sanctuary in Kabul. Uh, our North American missions work there that we cover with prayer quite often. Pastor DeLott also reports a new convert being completely healed of cancer recently, and this happens to be the uh, same lady who received the Holy Ghost at our concert there uh, in May. So the Lord's doing great things. There were 50-plus uh, uh, children who received the Holy Ghost at uh, junior camp here in Missouri, and uh, we're just praising God for all the great things that are going on. My dad continues to improve at home with physical therapy and uh, we give the Lord praise for that today. Uh, had some last minute praise reports coming in this morning from Kristen. Uh, says Sister Betty has no evidence of lymphoma. Uh, Sister Deb came through catheterization with no evidence of disease. They're believing she'll be released from the hospital this morning. Um, Kristen was protected from serious injury in a bicycle accident and so we're uh, thankful for that and believing for healing of the minor injuries that she sustained there. Um, she's believing for healing for Cindy and um, other miracles. And of course, uh, we need to pray for the city of uh, Milwaukee as this is uh, where Kristen is at. And she uh, asks us to pray for the uh, Republican National Convention going on there the next four days and uh, pray for reconciliation in, in their city and peace and unity. And of course, we all want to keep our nation in prayer this morning um, with the events of this weekend, the um, thankfully failed assassination attempt on, on uh, President Trump. And we know God's hand is upon him and upon our nation. And um, we're just believing for God to continue to work miracles uh, throughout this election season that his will would be done perfectly here in America. Uh, if you have a prayer request this morning, please go ahead and share that with us uh, that we can be uh, praying together uh, for these needs. And we do have a long list this morning to share with you before we go to the word of the Lord. Um, Brother Virgil Pulliam has sinusitis. He needs a healing touch uh, today. Uh, pray for Kay Kennedy and Emma, both recovering from recent surgeries. Remember Venus, who has surgery coming up on July the 31st. Carmen Bolaware, at last word, was needed to have spinal surgery. Margareta Chambers and Gerald Edwards were in a car accident recently and were injured badly. Uh, we need to pray for continued recovery for Buddy Randolph, Anthony Sifford, Evangelist Billy Huey. Johnny's nephew, Joey, Sue Help Morse's nephew, Dwayne, and Steve Echeverria, who are all recovering from stroke. Continue to pray for Brother David Kent uh, for his recovery from partial paralysis. Pastor Chris Dew continuing to recover from Guillain-Barre syndrome. He's come such a long way. Uh, let's do continue to remember him. Sherry needs a liver transplant. We have several we're praying for daily, including myself with uh, diabetes. So let's continue praying for all those on, on the list for that need. And today I will be able to publish an updated list for everyone. I know it's been a couple of weeks 
uh, since you've seen an actual list. Thank you for keeping each other apprised of current needs and for your faithfulness uh, while we were away and watching the videos as your uh, schedule permitted. Uh, pray for those with chronic lung and respiratory conditions, those with heart problems and kidney issues, uh, those with stomach problems, migraine headaches, MS, Parkinson's disease, dementia, uh, mobility problems, back pain, those who are battling cancer. Let me take a moment and mention uh, the list of those who are currently battling this disease. Kathy Selby, Linda Wooten, Pastor Richard Mahan, B.J. Scott, Bud Taylor, Virgil Nelson, Julia Nelson, Jim Ramey, Maggie Lowry, Marcia's co-worker's aunt, Linda Young, Rebecca Peterson, Cheryl, Diane Escher, Heather Milligan, Dennis Phelps, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, Scott Lucia, Michelle Strange's sister, Cindy, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparent, Daniel Dickinson, Valerie, Kristen's friend, Betty, Ari Bowers, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Gladys Sims, Jordan, Christine, and Jamie Joe's cousin, Maisie. If you have an update to this particular list uh, from the past couple of weeks, make sure you add that this morning. Let us know of any praise reports or changes uh, to it. Uh, those with precautionary treatment measures ongoing, Darla and Virginia, keep praying for them. Uh, pray for the children who need uh, complete healing today. Jaden Short, Stella, Brantley, Elsie, Darla's granddaughter, Tammy Lawson's granddaughter, Abram, Abel, uh, all needing a touch today. Mr. Jennings on hospice care needs our continued prayers. And other health needs we're praying for include John Sutter, Carmen's cousin Meredith with general health concerns, Sue Helton Morris with hearing issues, Carl Metcalf, Eddie Potts, Lois Link, Venus, Randy Reeves, Pat Wilson, Robbie, Cheryl LaChance's uncle, Tristan's friend Ann, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Judy Williams' brother, George Tibbs, Devin Huff, and Johnny Nelson, all of these needing a healing touch today. Keep praying for our military personnel and their families uh, for their protection, uh, for the families to be strengthened during times of separation. Pray for peace for Israel and Ukraine and other areas that are in turmoil. And of course, um, I'll mention it again here in a moment, I'm sure, but uh, we certainly be praying uh, for our nation as uh, we have much turmoil to deal with ourselves. Those who are in nursing homes uh, need compassionate and competent care. They need encouragement daily. Our North American global missionaries uh, need your prayers. Uh, specifically this month of July, let's pray for the Lloyd family and their work in Branson, Upper Room Church there, uh, doing a phenomenal work, just a, a young church of a couple of years, um, and they are growing, and God is blessing. Remember Metro Missionaries Tim and Rachel Richmond uh, in Detroit, Jerry and Ann West in D.C., Donnie Willis and family in New York City. Uh, pray for our missionaries overseas especially covering the Tingleys and Bryans, missionaries to Haiti, um, a place with um, much lawlessness and needing uh, intervention there uh, to stabilize that nation. We need to pray for Ukraine, uh, the Tomyevs and Pattersons, missionaries in that region, the Haitian family uh, ministering to our military families in Germany, and we just need to continue praying for our missionaries and believers in access-challenged areas I uh, believe that uh, our United Pentecostal uh, Church um, only has 11 nations to go to be in every nation in the world currently. And of course, that is fluid as uh, there are new nations that form um, and consolidate and so on and so forth due to civil war and strife and, um, and different things. So... Let's just keep praying that our entire world will hear the gospel uh, of Jesus Christ. These access challenge areas are very, very difficult and dangerous uh, to go into. And we have missionaries that we can't even mention their names because they are in these, uh, these dangerous areas. Many spiritual and family needs we need to pray about. Uh, continue to pray for revival in our community and in yours. God is doing a sovereign work. In these last days, we want to be right in the big middle of it. Pray for prodigals to return home. 
Um, I had a special time of, of prayer last night for uh, many prodigals. And we have many families in our church with needs in their family. Many of these do concern uh, prodigal children and other needs. The Cummins, the Perkins, the Joneses, the Marlins, the Moores, the Williams, the Pulliams, the Biddick family, Rose Brown's family needing salvation, Johnny Nelson's nieces and nephews need salvation. Carmen asked us to pray for David, that he would return to the Lord. We're praying for Judy Johnson's grandson, Gula Ziegler's granddaughter, Cheney, Becca, J.R., uh, Shirley, Jeffrey, Stephanie, and her children. And many of these needs of uh, uh, people battling with dysfunction in their homes and their families and, and special situations that are dealing with others who are battling addiction. Among them, Jacob, Josh, Allen, Ashley, Dawson, Charles, Frank, William, Dana, uh, Cheryl's cousin, uh, praying for Annette and Dave with their own needs. Marcia's friends, Ashley and Linda, our Mingo RCF residents and our Mingo Job Corps students. Uh, Johnny and Gracie, praying for them to uh, continue to grow closer to God and for strengthened connections, uh, strengthened connections there in New Mexico at their uh, recent new assignment. Uh, Belinda uh, needs much prayer for her family. She has one family member causing issues other family members who are relocating here to the area. Uh, we're praying for her summer college classes, a full-time teaching position. And I believe the last word, there was some holdup um, with something to do with her college. So let's pray that that would be resolved. Uh, Steve and Malena are returning from Kentucky today. So let's pray traveling mercies for them. Also unspoken requests for their family, Judy Johnson's family, Johnny Nelson's mother, Johnny's brother, Alan, his niece, Jessica, Terry's youngest sister, Robin, Venus's daughters, Sister Judy Williams' family, Rose Brown, with an unspoken request for a family member, and Belinda has a few unspoken needs. Uh, pray for peace and comfort um, for the family of the man who was killed in the uh, failed Trump assassination attempt Saturday. Also pray for the other victims who were critically injured. I haven't heard any updates on them. We also need to pray for the gunman's family, um, uh, those who would, who are rarely going to be mentioned, but they're enduring their own uh, personal hell, I'm sure, right now with their uh, their son, their child uh, being killed, and of course in these circumstances where he was um, the perpetrator. Uh, so. They're going to be dealing with a lot of this with news media camped outside their home and uh, while the investigation is going on and grieving their own loss. So let's not forget uh, them as well. A Fort Campbell soldier was lost to suicide recently, so we need to pray for uh, that family, the Gustafson family, in this tragic loss. And we just need to cover our nation in uh, prayer today with all of this turmoil going on. Uh, just amazing over the past couple of weeks not knowing from day to day who the Democratic nominee is going to be uh, for president, uh, whether it'll be Joe Biden or someone else, and then all this happening over the weekend uh, with attempted assassination. We live in unprecedented times, and certainly we live in perilous times, and we need to continue to believe for these things to work out. All things work together for good to them that love God and are the called according to his purpose. I can't get away from that scripture. Let's go to uh, the word of God, Isaiah chapter 66. We've been uh, camping out here in Isaiah for quite some time, and we're going to finish up there today. Isaiah 66 verse 1 uh, says, Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath mine hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. Think of this this morning, that the Almighty Creator, the great and holy God, the Eternal One, that he actually delights in the man or woman who is the lowest. 
who is humble, who is contrite in spirit, who trembles at his word. God loves to see those three traits in us, and they're three traits that go together. You'll never find them really separated from one another. If you are humble, then you will be contrite in spirit, and you will tremble at God's word. If you're contrite in spirit, you will be humble, and you will tremble at God's word. If you tremble at God's word, then you will be humble, and you will be contrite in spirit. They go together, and these three things reflect a profound surrender and submission to God. Who are the humble? Humble people know that everything in their life comes from God. They recognize that. They're dependent upon him and even desperate for God. There's no sense of self-reliance, self-promotion, or self-exaltation. These are the people who humble themselves before God and surrender and humble themselves before other people in service. The humble person is focused not on himself but upon God and other people. What about the contrite in spirit? That is defined as being broken because of our sin. When the Spirit of God exposes some sin in our lives, there must not be a hardened defiance before God, but there must be tender brokenness. And this is that same spirit that the tax collector exhibited in Luke 18 when he felt too broken to even lift his eyes toward heaven, but simply cried out, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. The contrite in spirit are always quick to confess their sins to God. And then I thought about, you know, what does it mean uh, to actually tremble at God's word? It, it really is talking about us taking it seriously, not being one that cherry picks the word of God, uh, but takes it at face value and obeys it. Uh, we must have deep reverence and respect for the Bible as it is the living word of God. Uh, to be one who trembles at God's Jesus word Lord. is to know that this is not a human book, but it is God's book. And therefore, we treasure it, we prize it, we savor it, and most importantly, most importantly, we obey it. To feel such a responsibility before a holy God to obey whatever we read in his word. That's what it means to tremble at his word. Is this us today? Is this our attitude, one of humility, uh, contrition of spirit, to tremble at the word of God? If that is us, God says, myself, the almighty creator, that's who I delight in. That's who I pay attention to. Not those who are self-exalted, but those who are humble. Not those who are defiant against my will, but those who are broken and contrite in spirit. Those who uh, don't twist the scriptures to make them say what they want to say or completely ignore them altogether, but those who tremble at my word and are seeking after me. I want to be that person today that God delights in. I want to delight the heart of God today. I believe God's delighted when we come to him humbly in prayer, asking him to move in these situations, uh, acknowledging our reliance upon him. As we do that today, God is going to continue to bless. Carry that scripture with you, Isaiah 66, verse 1 and 2, throughout this week, and let God help you uh, with his uh, word, with this devotion. Amen. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we come to you thanking you, Lord, for keeping each of us over these past couple of weeks that we've not been able to join together for live prayer and devotion. And we just thank you today, God, for your blessings, all the things that you're doing, the good reports that we're hearing coming in this morning, a revival that's happening everywhere, people's hearts that are turning back toward you. We thank you, Lord, for your protection upon President Trump and upon uh, so many at that rally it could have been a much worse situation and we know god that uh, you intervened that there were angels of protection uh, in that place and we thank you at the same time we grieve lord and we uh, have difficulty understanding uh, this the senseless loss of life that occurred there and we just pray god for your comfort and your peace and not only for these situations but for others lord this one who lost his life due to suicide, others who have lost a family member recently in tragic circumstances. Lord, we pray your comfort and your peace today 
We pray, God, for Milwaukee today, for Kristen and her family and those who reside there. We pray for healing and reconciliation in that city. We pray for peace, Lord, in our nation. We pray for protection for those attending, attending the uh, Republican convention there and those who will be attending the Democratic convention uh, later on. God, we pray uh, your peace and protection upon all, Lord. We pray, God, today for healing for our nation for your will to be done in our upcoming elections. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for physical healing today for Virgil uh, Pulliam and for others, Lord, who need a physical touch today. You see all those who are uh, sick in body and need a physical touch right now. We lift up them up to you, John Sutter and Meredith, Sue Morris, Carl Metcalf, Eddie Potts, Lois Link, Venus, Randy Reeves, Pat Wilson, Robbie, Cheryl's uncle, Kristen's friend, Ann, Robin Tibbs, Cheryl Ogden, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Judy's brother, George Tibbs, Devin Huff, and Johnny Nelson. Lord, you know what their needs are today physically, and we believe for you to touch them right now. We pray for Kay and Emma as they recover from recent surgery. We believe for those who are going into surgery in upcoming days, Venus and Carmen, Lord, touch them today, Carmen Bolaware. We pray for Margreta and Gerald who were in a car accident and sustained serious injuries. In Jesus' name, we pray that you would touch them and minister healing. We pray for Kristen's needs today, Lord. Lord, for these minor injuries that she sustained in a bicycle accident, we thank you that this wasn't more serious. And we believe with her for these other needs that she has mentioned this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the praise reports. Uh, that she has shared today as well, in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for those that are continuing to recover from stroke and from accidents and injuries, and we pray your strength for them today. We lift up those with liver issues, Sherry needing a liver transplant today, those with diabetes, Belinda, Jimmy, Cheryl, Brother Pulliam, Christian, Titus, Cindy and Lloyd, Tim Workman, Steve Cummins, Anthony and Michael Williams, Emily Stanley, Evie, Rose, Rebecca, J.R., Natalie, myself, Lola, Kristen's cousin Grady, Holly, Zex, former co-worker's husband. Each of these, Lord, we believe for complete healing. You're able, God, to cause the pancreas to begin to function properly. In Jesus' name, Lord, you are able, God, to uh, cure insulin resistance today. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for Clay and for Nancy, for Dee's mother, Carolyn, for Gary Lee, for Kendra, and for Robbie, for healing of chronic lung conditions. In the mighty name of Jesus, we trust you, Lord, for healing of heart problems, for Cheney, Bill Ramey, Ronnie Wilson, Robin Felver, Jenny Perkins' father, Holly, Amy, Cheryl, Brother Morris, Kelly B., Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, Jimmy Warren, Michelle Strain's mother. We lift up Olivia, uh, needing healing of kidney issues, uh, needing a kidney transplant, Jesse Ramey, Doug Seaball, Oscar Smith, Dave, all of these needing healing of the kidneys, Michael Parrott, Pam Poyum's granddaughter, Savannah, Amber Kay, Heather Spence with stomach issues, those with migraines today, God, reach down and touch Beth and Marsha, Marsha's co-worker son, Melena, and you see, Lord, Beth's other physical issues that she's dealing with. We pray, God, for those suffering with MS, touch Marty and Sarah and Riley and Tracy. We believe for Tracy's home to sell, Lord, to, to lighten this load that she's carrying. We pray, Lord, for Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Russ, Beulah, Kristen's friend, Matt, Tim Workman, and my dad, Lord, all with Parkinson's disease. They need healing today. We pray, God, for Melena's mother, uh, battling dementia, Vivian, Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny's mom, all battling dementia, Ben's stepdad, Tom, with memory deterioration, those with mobility problems, Renee and Sammy, Sheila and Donna, Chris, uh, needing strength and will to get mobile. We pray, God, for Jimmy Moore and for Virgil and Rose and June, for Sister Judy's mom with arthritis pain. We pray for those with back pain today, Pam's daughter, Jenny, Marcia's boss, Regenia, Carolyn, Becky, Rebecca, Britt, Cindy, Brianna, Johnny and Terry, Jennifer, Tammy, Elveda, Belinda's best friend. God, move for each of these today, we pray. Hallelujah. Those we've mentioned today who are battling cancer and going through precautionary measures. 
Lord, touch each of them today. Give them strength, Lord, as they go through chemotherapy and, and other treatments. And we pray, God, for these children that we've mentioned today that need healing in their bodies. Those on hospice care, touch them right now, we pray. Lord, we lift up our military personnel, our first responders, their families. And God, we pray, Lord, for uh, our police officers and Lord, for our firefighters, Lord, keep your hand upon these that are serving uh, the public today and that are protecting us. Uh, we pray, God, for our National Guardsmen working at the border and, and the Border Patrol and the different ones who are so overtaxed right now uh, with their responsibilities. God, we pray that you would help them today and strengthen them in Jesus' name. You see those who are on the front lines uh, in missions work today, our North American missionaries, the Lloyd family especially today in Branson. We cover them. We cover in prayer today our global missionaries, those in access-challenged areas, the believers in these dangerous areas. God, protect them. Protect our churches, Lord. Protect their properties today in Jesus' name. Lord, in Ukraine, you see the situation there with recent uh, bombings in Kiev. Lord, we pray that you would protect our missionaries who live right there in that capital city. Hallelujah. Be with the Tomyevs. Be with the Pattersons next door in Romania. Be, Lord, with the Haitian family ministering to our troops in Jesus' name. All of our chaplains, Lord, we pray, God, for our military chaplains that you would be with them in Jesus' name. Lord, help them to have an impact upon these military families, to encourage them, hallelujah, to lead them and strengthen them in their a commitment to you as they serve our nation. Hallelujah. We lift up our Metro missionaries today. We pray, Lord, for those who have spiritual and family needs. You see those in nursing homes today that need encouragement. And you've heard every name that we've mentioned from this list today of families who are in need that are burdened for prodigals uh, who have walked away from you, Lord, and, and for families that are uh, suffering from dysfunction. We pray, God, for healing for our homes today. We pray, Lord, for healing of backslidings. We pray, God, today for deliverance from addictions for many who are bound. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, have your way. We pray, God, traveling mercies for Stephen Melena today and others who are on the roadways. We pray, God, for the unspoken needs that have been submitted to this team today, that you would move in all of these situations. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray, God that you would just move in every situation today according to your perfect will. We recognize our need of you, Lord, and we come humbly before you today. Direct our paths, Lord. Hallelujah. Lead us, Lord, in those paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Hallelujah. You are so good. You are so good. Every need that's being submitted this morning, those I haven't even seen yet, Lord, we just ask you right now as our prayer partners, join together for these needs, that you would answer these petitions today. You are the mighty God. You are able, Lord, to do anything, and we give you the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day, prayer team. Thank you for being with us once again this morning and returning to our live broadcast this week. Uh, we thank you so much for being a part of it each and every day. Make sure you submit those prayer requests and praise reports so I can get them on the list tomorrow. And I look forward to praying with you again uh, tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Have a great day in the Lord. I'll see you tomorrow morning.